I'm Russ Bowen. And I'm Mary Nam with Come 4 News, and this is Royals Week in Review. Hey, Royals. My name's Riley Rush. And my name's Kara Tran. And, and this, this is, is Royals Week in Review. Review. Today is Thursday, November 3rd. You know, Kara, one of my favorite things about being here at KM is all the cultures that we have. Me too. I love going to a school with such diversity. Luckily, RWR did a little segment about some of the cultures here. My name is Miriam. Uh, I'm from Iraq and I've lived in Jordan for eight years. My name is Trey Lyons. I'm from Seattle. My name is Damaris. I was born in Seattle. My parents were from Chile, Santiago, and my mom was from Rosarito, Mexico. Uh, my name is Simon. I'm in 10th grade and I'm from Thailand, but not really because I live in a refugee camp. Uh, I speak Quran. My name is Brittany. I'm a junior and I'm from Kenya. Holly, and I'm a sophomore and I'm from Kenya. I'm Emilion. I'm in the 9th grade and I'm from Washington or Seattle. My mom is from Ohio and my dad's from Vietnam. My culture of food is um, kebab and biryani, and for the sweetings is like um, baklava. Cultural food, um, uh, you can say barbecue or something. For Chile, they make empanadas, and in Mexico, they make a lot of tortas, tacos, um, and they also make pastel de choclo. Basically, eat rice like every old other Asian culture. Um, we eat yama chama, chapati, beef stew, chicken stew, and stuff like that. Yeah, we eat sukuma and ugali. Oh, yeah. Chicken. Rice, pho, fried rice. Um. All day, we like we usually eat so bread and eat. Big eat, we call it. It's like four four days. Uh, holidays, basically like. We celebrate Christmas, New Year's, New Year's, Vietnamese New Year's. Uh, we wear like, I don't know how to say this, but it represents our culture and it has like different textures and all that. The women wear a dress and then the guys, they wear some, it's kind of like a dress, but yeah, like it's red and blue and gold, they have gold. It's like uh, the shirt thingy, you know, the design, it's like African tribal shirt. Wear long dresses. Uh, my traditional dance is called the don't dance. We perform it every New Year. That is all. You know, we be dancing to like Jamaican music, African music, and everything. You know, but we be dancing to Brock off your back, Fever. You know. Bounce <laughs> boogie, bounce boogie. Song, uh, like for Chavi, like has more. Porco. There's a lot of cultural dances. There's bachata, cumbia, banda, songs, corridos, durengue. Our culture values family the most because family is really important to us, and like we do a lot of things for our family. So we value respect, peace, family, and always sticking together. They value. Food, like you're supposed to eat all of it and they value how you act and if you're good if you're good to the older people we celebrate people that have like died we have like a meet a family gathering or something like that and then we burn things to show like that like whatever we burn goes up to like heaven it really sucks that all the sports seem to be ending. I mean, swim is over, football's almost over. What else is there? Well, I did hear that gymnastics tryouts are coming up soon. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. I'm really upset that I couldn't make it to the play last year. I heard it was really good, Riley. Well, you know, it's a good thing that there's another one coming up soon. The Dining Room, written by A.R. Gurney. 
Um, the play takes place in a dining room. Uh, what's interesting about it, it's not just one dining room, but it's it's a dining room through the ages. Uh, and it's a series of 18 separate scenes all about life in the dining room, um, and they overlap. So some scenes take place in the 1940s, some in the, the 80s and 90s, just kind of all over the map. The dining room, the whole play is about like different aspects what a dining room can mean to certain families. So you see different scenarios you put in the play. And a dining room means to me is basically what a family can go through and they can push through it as a family and become stronger as individuals. Traditionally done with six actors. So six actors play 52 roles. Uh, and so what I did, instead of having six actors, actors, I have 15 actors, um, and all of the actors in this play get to play more than one role. Um, so it's fun that way. Uh, we'll, you'll, have, you'll see an actor play a little kid at a birthday party, and then a couple scenes later they're playing a, a, a grandpa or an old lady. I play the agent, Emily, in The Finalist. This play I play the client, and I also play Billy, who is a six-year-old. So the play uh, speaks to us all in that way. Like, you definitely come and you'll recognize some behaviors and you'll recognize some thoughts and feelings that are expressed in the play. So the, the play is something that everybody can relate to in some way. The opening night is on the 9th and the rest of the showings are on the 10th, the 11th, and the 12th. And it's $8 for admission. That's it for this week's episode of Royals Week in Review. I'm Kara. And I'm Riley. See you next week. Bye! <sighs> I'm supposed to say my name. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. I was like, what are we waiting for? <laughs> okay.